everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the March Lit Joy Crates. Feeling a little light this month, feeling a little light this month. Um, but we'll see what we've got going on in here. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification bu button down below so you never miss anything. Let's go ahead and get this started. I don't know what the theme is. I don't know what the theme is. I never know what the theme is. Boom. You know what? I do know. It's the Superman box. Of course, I can see that just because it's right here. Ba -ba -da. Actually, I don't even think I know like what the Superman theme song is. You know, like Batman. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I know what the Superman theme song is. But everybody knows they want a Clark Kent. And then they want a bat, and then they want a Superman. The artist of the front cover is Rob Bruno. You can find him at Rob Bruno. Bruno, Bruno Ill. Rob Bruno, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but that is the book. It is a Superman Dawn Breaker by Matt De La Pena, which will close off our are these are DC comic or DC icons book series so it's super excited it says Superman Dawnbreaker when the dawn breaks a hero arises a hero rises Clark Kent has always been faster and stronger than everyone around him but he wasn't raised to show off and drawing attention to himself could be dangerous plus it's not like he earned his powers yet lately it's difficult to hold back and keep his heroics in the shadows when Clark follows the sound of a girl crying, he comes across Gloria Alvarez and discovers a stark secret lurking in Smallville. Turns out, Clark's not the only one hiding something. Teaming up with his best friend, Lana, Lana Lang, or Lana Lang, he throws himself into the pursuit of the truth. What evil lies below the surface of his small town, Smallville? And what will it cause Clark to learn about his past as he steps into the light to become the future Man of Steel? Because before he can save the world, he must save Smallville. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love the luggage tag. Okay, let's just dig into the items um, and we'll read as we go. So we've got a Court of Candles candle entitled Man of Steel. Let me see if I can find... Let me see if I can find it in the thing it says... Superman candle, four of four in our DC icon candle series. It took all of Clark's strength to kneel in the mud as the massive, mach massive machine jolted and twisted in his grasp. Spinning out of control, it landed on its side with a tremendous crash. Blades digging in the soft earth with a wet thwacking sound. Sharp no flying everywhere. Think the stars that Clark landed in Smallville and what better way to strap to wrap up our set of our four DC icon candles with this tribute to the Man of Steel. Enjoy fruity and fresh scents that one might find in the halls of school or while being rescued and carried by a mysterious man in a cape, spandex suit, and underoos. Okay, so does anyone associate spandex with fruity and fresh? I associate it with rubber and sweat. It's supposed to smell like clean air, fruit punch, and cherry limeade. What does clean air smell like? It smells like Kool-Aid. Got a lot of Kool-Aid candles right now. A lot of Kool-Aid candles. But it's our Man of Steel candle. I don't know what I did with my Poison Ivy candle. And did I, did I get the... I got Catwoman and Batman. Oh, it was uh, You Need the Dark to See the Light. Oh, it's right here. Poison Ivy. I, I kept them together. I'm better at this than I thought. Anyway, up next is... Our Daily Planet Reporter luggage tag. I love it. It's the nerd in me. It says, oh, you naive junior reporter. Lana said, this entire industry is built upon the proper execution of one's tactics. Though Clark is in, though Clark is in high school and Superman Dawn Breaker. Oh, he's in high school. Interesting. He's definitely still working for the greater good and helping with the school paper. This press pass is the perfect accessory to keep track of your luggage or finagle your way into important press events look at that it's interesting so he's going to be in high school he's not a grown adult so he doesn't quite know Lois Lane yet 
Let's see, what else do we have? We have our DC Icons pins. So it's like a pin for each one of the books. Is there a thing on this? Let me just make sure. Or is it just like an added? Because I don't see them. So it's just a little pin that go with each one of the books. Kind of like um those um <sighs> advertisement type of deals, those things. Next up is a double-sided bookmark. It says, it turned out that no cameras had been able to capture his face that day. In nearly every photo that surfaced in the aftermath, Clark's face was either was turned away or nothing but a grainy, blurry smudge. Even in the one image taken straight on, no one seemed to see Clark. We can't, oh my goodness, can I get this out? We can't but help. We can't help but laugh when all Clark has to do not to be recognized is take off his glasses. All right, does that make anybody else chuckle? Like, you should to take off your glasses and people can't recognize you? Let me go put on some glasses. <laughs> and then take them off when I don't want to be recognized. Maybe for me, it's the opposite. People don't recognize me with glasses. Whether you prefer Clark Kent, The Reporter, or Man of Steel, Superman, this exclusive double-sided bamboo bookmark has you covered, plus it's stunning. Carrying people. Got stuff. One moment you're Superman, the next minute you're a writer. Let me see if I can live that Clark Kent lifestyle. Do you guys still recognize me? If you don't, my name is India, by the way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. <laughs> Okie dokie. I just wear glasses to look smart. Um, oh, the bookmark is by, the art is by Haley Bertling. You can find her on Instagram. Next is, reading is my superpower crossbody bag. In instances like this one, when his powers took hold and his thoughts receded, Earth felt smaller and more fragile, as if its rules no longer applied. We might not have the strength of the Man of Steel, but we can read about it. And that is pre it's pretty close second. This crossbody bag it is a perfect way to keep your copy of Superman Dawnbreaker safe from evil forces of bent covers and Earth's elements. You see it? Ooh. That is cute. DC Comics. DC Comics. You've got Wonder Woman. Well, Captain America is in DC Comics. Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, Aquaman, The Flash, Catwoman. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Maybe my nerdisms isn't that good. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Age don't know. But it's designed by Evie Sayo of Evie Bookish, um, who does amazing things. Oh, key doki. Um. So now on to the book. Let me see if what the new thing with the book is. The edition is signed by the author. It also includes a fold-out poster in the back. And it also has an author letter. Hold on, I'm working on it. You know, they, they started getting fancy putting their books in bags instead of plastic. And my trading card should be in here. Perfect. Thank you. So here it is. Superman. Superman, Superman. The cup, the inside is pretty cool. Got your Superman. I can't, my wrist. Oh God. <laughs> Superman and fold out poster in the back. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna figure it out without dropping everything. Okay. It's not in the back. It's not in the the dust jacket like some of their others are. It's like. High school, Clark Kent. <laughs> I'm struggling. 
Look at that. It's like a school clerk kit. Interesting. There we go. Um, let's see what we got about these trading cards. The joy trading cards. It says we are so excited to be wrapping up our DC Icons collection with our Man of Steel Superman card as well as a Batman and a Wonder Woman card. Add them to your Gotham Girls and enjoy our enjoy your DC Icon set six cards total. Art is by Gabriella Bujoso. I'm working on it, guys. Stop judging me. So we've got Wonder Woman with her lasso. Beautiful. She's the Ace of Hearts. Um, we've got Batman. He should have been an Ace of Spades. I'm going to have to figure out who the Ace of Spades was. But he is the Ace of Clubs. It's an interesting portrayal of Batman. And then we've got Superman... Who's the ace of diamonds? Boom. Those are the three trading cards um, for this month. Um, that, I believe that is it for the Superman box. Um, let's see, next month, the April theme is Born Rebel. Doesn't say anything else other than that. And you'll get an item designed by Nerdy Post, included in the full crate and item only options. Okay, and then of course we have our April, um, we have our April photo challenge. I can like read the words but not think of the words. I don't know. Maybe I'm having a stroke. I don't know. You like my ring light and my glasses? Does that make me look cool? <laughs> um... I always love when they have these like share your double sided things like the cover parts because it's like okay well how am I supposed to share the book and the cover in the same picture I'm not that great at photoshop taking two pictures and merging and putting things and I only have one copy of the book so it's just an, an, always an interesting photo challenge prompt it's like you're only going to see one side of it <laughs> reporter on the go interesting so your photo challenges Anyway, guys, what did you guys think of this Superman-related box for the final DC Icon book together? Um, we now have our some of our favorite DC Icons all in one series, written by some of your favorite authors. And um, this, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't. I don't have any standouts from this box. I don't have any standouts. I'm gonna take these glasses off because that ring light is. This is making my... <laughs> you still remember who I am? Still India. Um, but I don't have any standouts from this box. I just don't. Um, it's not like... Even though it seemed like it was supposed to be... They hyped the superhero box up a lot. So you expect it to be a little bit more curated for Superman. Of course, everything was Superman entailed. But, you know, the Joyce specialty boxes are just phenomenal. Of course, this is just their subscriber box. But their specialty boxes are phenomenal. Subscriber box, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, that is it for me today. Um, don't forget, to, like I've said a few times now, don't forget to hit that subscriber button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification and follow me on all the social media so you never miss anything. And until next time, keep turning the pages. <laughs>